Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 Let's Talk video. And in this video, we're gonna talk about shotguns. What happened to shotgun builds? Are they are they dead after patch 23? Since there is no more magic weapons, etc. So basically, shotguns are not dead. They were. Alright, so in this video we're going to talk about are the shotgun builds are dead or not. Well, I personally say they're not dead, they're actually still OP. And uh, in, in this video I'm going to be testing out two different builds. The first build is the stealth build and the second build is no stealth build. I prefer the non stealth build, no stealth build because you run around and you're always in action. The vampire queen is the best for that one but she also can be in the sneaky peeky way. Uh, but, on the other hand, the sneaky peeky way, although you will, uh, I usually just run through everything and just kill so super fast and just move on. With sneaky peeky type, you, you kind of like sneak and you know, you take your time. There's a big advantage is that your armor doesn't break. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I might gonna be for PvE, uh, like when I'm gonna be farming the season scores, I'm gonna be the sneaky peeky type, which I'm gonna show you right now with all the perks that I'm using. Uh, so this is the first uh, shotgun that I'm going to be testing out today. That's one. With the sneaky picky type and no sneaky picky type. Uh, then uh, we're going to take a look at my bloody gauze wifey as well. This is definitely not sneaky picky type. It's an OP type. <laughs> it's like stand in line and kill. Uh, then double pain wifey. It's a two shot, faster reload, speed and bash damage. Really good for, by the way, daily ops. Very good. And I will show you that in daily ops as well. And my combos of daily ops with shotgun. And how I actually farm the Ultra Side 2mm electric ca cartridges, I believe these are, uh, for my uh, party wifey, the minigun. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. It's actually very sweet. I don't even craft ammo no more, thanks to Daily Ops. On Daily Ops, I have a very big topic as well coming. I was planning to do it today, but I believe that uh, the topic of shotguns has a higher priority. So I decided to do the shotguns. So Double Pain Wife is a two-shot uh, Gus uh, shotgun. And we are going to take a look at Don't Speak Wifey. <laughs> you, you don't want to speak with her. She'll shut you up. <laughs> So this is sneaky peeky, uh, yeah, this is only sneaky peeky. Like, with no sneaky peeky, I like using the uh, Vampire Queen and Goss. That's it. Uh, this one is the best for sneaky peeky. Because it's bloodied and damage resist while aiming. Well, I'll show you everything uh, in a bit. So uh, these are the four wifeys. And we're going to start off Don't Speak Sneaky Peeky Wifey. And we're going to go to West Deck. So let's go. Alright, so I already fast traveled to West Tech, and uh, before I go ahead and show you how everything gonna be in action, let me show you my build. First of all, with legendary perk cards, nothing has changed if you saw my uh, XP and score farming build. My, I, I try to specialize in leveling up as fast as possible in order to earn as much as, as possible score quickly, and that's what helped me to get to rank 100 in Season 2. I don't buy Seasons, okay? So, uh... I've added more uh, damage perks before there was no need for damage perks as the magic dam the magic did all the magic for you so you pretty much didn't need anything uh, but now essentially you will need so I got all three maxed out shotgunner I got the barbarian for that additional uh, survivability in the terms of defense damage resistance because I don't want to get killed if I get noticed uh, these two, because I'm, I'm going to be farming a lot of ammo on Bandolier, and, uh, oh, somebody's sharing Bandolier again. <laughs> a study frame. And I got a study frame. Okay. So, night person to give me more, uh, XP, but essentially, right now, it's the daytime, and, uh, if I'm not sneaky peeky, I will use the Skeet Shooter. So, shotguns have excellent accuracy and spread. This is a must for a shotgun. Uh, yeah. So ironclad, additional survivability, uh, fireproof, survivability, and radical to get more strength. Then inspirational to get more uh, XP while in the group. Sergeant fulfilled 
to kind of like benefit from those stim packs and other stuff. Tenderizer for more damage, stranger numbers uh, get better with mutations. Uh, first aid, so the stim packs restore more uh, lost health when I need it. Uh, but during the sneak, most probably I'm not going to use a lot of stim packs. But you never know. Uh, if I get shot, I don't. I really don't. I don't like dying with the blighted builds especially so I always have uh, a born survivor in me so I stim pack as soon as the first bullet hits me that's it I stim pack myself automatically and I have a lot of uh, health restores you'll see if I get shot gunsmith uh, I place the gunsmith because I'm not going to be using uh, an explosive weapon and it helps for my gun not to break really fast and that is really nice for PvE so I can just jump and just go through locations bam 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 get my XP get my score and stuff like that so uh, through hiker always on because I have a whole bunch of food drinks with me uh, this is the damage part card to increase my damage while uh, range sneak attacks uh, Born Survivor already explained sneak uh, to 50% I didn't have enough skill points to get it uh, to 3 uh, escape artisan and adrenaline so all of these so if I'm gonna, I might even not gonna up, uh, level it up till three, cause Born Survivor is already good. Plus I have a, a, a legendary piece on my armor, which uh, gives me more uh, sneak type, and it's already uh, as good as enough. Other chest pieces is weapon weight reduction for a little bit, and three intelligence. These are not the best uh, armor sets, so just don't, don't mind that <laughs> this is for my XP farming build alright so with the perk cards let's continue adrenaline once again bloody mess uh, green uh, reaper sprint sprint to have a chance to refill my AP which is always nice this is to prevent any damage also defensive perk these two are always on because I have mutations and good with salt is because I have a lot of cooked food I, that I don't want to spoil so once I begin I pretty much eat the brain fungus I go with the cranberry relish and I go with berry mentats so to increase my damage and stuff like that uh, I forgot to put my purify water cockroach alright so let's do this the sneaky picky way huh cockroaches you're all dead. Can't believe it. Alright, finally I found a West Tech that is not cleared. I server hopped like four times. By the way, I think I found a new feature. Brain Fungus. Eat. No Brain Fungus. Minus my intelligence. Cockroach. Uh, so yeah, as I've mentioned, I, I focus on the intelligence build. Currently my intelligence is 56. Okay, uh, so. Let's go sneaky peeky mode. We're gonna be vatsing, and right now we're using my don't speak wifey. 312 damage. Actually, you know what? Let's start with the vampire queen. She's not gonna uh, one shot these guys, she's gonna two shot these guys in the head. Boom. And we're gonna let that kick in. Level 50 got down with one hit, critical hit, boom, two hits, let's see what we got here, stalker gamma gun, oh I'll take it, another benefit from sneaky peeky, I can pick up all the caps that I want, boom, one shot, 75, level 75, no one shot, so it's two shot, but it's still not bad, so hound, no one, so as I said, the vampire, is not the best for one shotting or anything but it's still good in terms of survivability so if they hit me I still get my HP back and I don't die so even if I get ambushes and they're gonna start attacking me first I have a stim pack boom and then I have the vampire effect and I pretty much don't die at all what the hell just happened why'd you put your guns down oh, okay boom Thank you. Auto stem. Great. Uh, not the best. So, we got this part, right? I can't even one shot the turret. Oh my god. This is why, if you want to one shot, you need a bloody. <laughs> so, there we go. Let's take a look at my vampire. Vampire is now 312 damage. And if we go back to my don't speak wifey, 
she she got a boost a little bit and now she gonna start one shotting everything apart from I think level 100 guys with level 100 uh, super mutant I need to initiate a vats critical in order to take him out um, with one shot so we still have our adrenaline kicking in so we're good one shot that should be a level 100 now level 50 one shot and look at my XP 400 per kill and that's without any lunch boxes so double the results when I get my lunch box again level 50 what's up with you guys level 50 huh one shot one shot one shot let's go inside and hope we're gonna face a couple of good you know level 100 guys so basically with the sneaky picky type you can w still do your one shots you're gonna take it slow though and basically miss out on all the action <laughs> uh, but it's more beneficial economy wise because your armor doesn't break if they don't shoot you your armor does not break <laughs> which I actually what make me think to go back to this build okay bam what is our damage now we lost weird so there we go one shot Wow, there's so many three stars. Sweet. One shot. So level 60s, we're taking down with one shot. Ah, I think I know why. I removed my sneak. That's why I was not able to one shot that guy. Who is this? 75. One shot. 576 XP. And that's not my maximum XP that I can go up with. I mean my intelligence, I can go even higher. But I just need better gear. 60, one shot. One shot. One shot. <laughs> you see, it's still OP. You can play shotguns. It's Nothing is so bad. I've seen some uh, Russian follow 76 content creators. But there's the killed shotgun builds. The Reddit going insane. No magic. Can't play and stuff like that you can play this game even without magic effects I was actually really really hoping for this magic to go away you see that level 100 guy almost died just this little bitsy of HP was left so next time I'll see level 100 like right now that's he's dead one shot and the beauty about the shotguns uh, they regenerate uh, the ooh initiate a critical I didn't click that critical button but anyway uh, they regenerate the crit meter a lot quicker or you can replace with part cards to get more uh, a higher chance of getting your critical meter filled in I just don't keep forgetting using criticals to be honest on PC I use them all the time on Xbox I keep forgetting to uh, what is it hold the I Y to initiate the critical so yeah boom Man, so many legendaries, sweet. Me gusta, me gusta. Boom. So you see, you, you get the point. It's easy. Alright, so. Let's do Vastag, but no sneaky peeky. No sneaky peeky. Alright, so when I'm playing not sneaky <clears throat> with the shotgun, uh, here are the perk cards that I change and I use, right? So, first of all, uh, demolition expert as I'm gonna be using uh, gas rifles mainly when I'm not sneaking uh, but if I'm gonna be using my uh, vampire gun then essentially it doesn't have explosive so I would change this one back to gunsmith uh, but I'm gonna be showing you gas rifles as well here uh, the other thing is dodgy and action boy to prevent get even more defense and kind of su survive longer and uh, over here, bloody mess, pretty much that's it. So I only changed the demolition and dodgy and action boy instead of the convert operative and sneak and the other thing, right? So <clears throat> everything else stays the same. And let me show you how this build works. All right, so I jumped to Huntersville because uh, everything is dead in Western. <laughs> 
So right now I'm using my uh, Vampire Queen, the pump shotgun. So I allow him to shoot myself, right? He shoots, he shoots. See? Idiot, can't even kill me. Boom, I recover. And look at my XP, getting good. Here we go. This guy, the adrenaline kicks in. So I get even better, even stronger. Jump in here. Hey, what's up, boys? How you doing today? So you see, even right now, I'm surviving, although I'm not even sneaking. Boom. Oh yeah, by the way, if, if I'm going to be doing my uh, <clears throat> Vampire Queen, I'm not going to have the dodgy. <laughs> I forgot about that one. Because dodgy it eats up a lot of uh, AP and there's no point in using bats. So, Vampire Queen just keeps me alive all the time. I can be sneaky, I can not be sneaky, whatever. Now here comes the time for our bloodied guns. Well, so this is my bloodied. It's under the effects, so it's 1,282 damage now. And uh, my double paint, that's the two shot, it's 1,200 damage. Essentially, I can't decide which one's better. <laughs> but this gun, I use no vats because this gun has an issue with uh, vats. And by the way, this gun is extremely OP against robots. It's like. Uh, yesterday we had a mutation uh, camouflaged robots and uh, I was just inside my power armor with this shotgun one shotting all those uh, robots no problemo and farming my ultrasight uh, ammo for my junkies minigun which I also looted and by the way all these guns I looted from the apart from the vampire and uh, don't speak wifey those were given to me but uh, the goss and also yesterday I uh, looted a vampire bullet explode light machine gun and the junkie party girl party wife uh, minigun all that from daily ops so daily ops has been in this crazy amount of good loot I don't know why but I started farming uh, the daily ops more but I'm gonna go back into the adventure mode because I need to grind a little bit of that um, XP for changes but as you can see I'm just one-shotting everything it's crazy I, I'm not even gonna go to ghouls or anything like that to show you because you know let's go to behemoth because there's no point uh, like if you're dealing so much insane damage already to super mutants obviously the ghouls will die one shot pretty much right right and now we're gonna go to the behemoth with behemoth uh, with those other guns there are some issues but what the gauze shotgun does to behemoth I oh my god lost it it's crazy uh, so basically uh, when I was doing yesterday's video remember it took me like about eight shots to take out the level 100 glowing behemoth now with this one is gonna be I think up to four shots if not three by the way have in mind I'm not even using camps yet I'm gonna try to implement and start using more of the psycho camp because I, I got addicted to it because of the junkies so here we go we walk up close to him hey what's up brother hey you didn't take a lot of damage why oh there we go that's more like it Ooh, that hurt but anyway done and done <laughs> I mean, easy. You see, you're, you're seeing this, right? <laughs> Alright, and this is the final place that I want to show you how <clears throat> the build works without sneak. So, as you can see, yeah, it does take a little bit more, but previously with magic effect. In VATS, I would take this guy out as well with about three or four shots. And now there's no magic. So, as you can see, the gauze weapon is doing a ridiculous amount of damage. And I'm not even under the full adrenaline. And I'm just building my adrenaline still. And we're gonna have one more behemoth, but this time 
Uh, we're gonna take out the enemies to get that buff and then we're gonna take him out. So there we go. See, like, and you don't even have to bats. Look, that's crazy. Yeah, it's a shame that the uh, the vats thing for the gauze shotguns and basically like the gauze pistol as well wasn't fixed. I was hoping it will. So as you can see, oh, bam. Oh, shots. <laughs> impact yourself and good but personally myself I think I am going to uh, do a sneaky type build so I don't waste a lot of components and just you know just take my time bam 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 I don't know maybe I'll be switching around between these two because sneaky gets boring I used to do a lot of sneak while I was playing on PC with my sneaky commando build and it just gets boring. It's just so slow. It, it, uh, yeah. And by the way, it, imagine adding to this build uh, take one for the team as well, which will boost your uh, dam uh, damage. So yeah, even though the magic weapons are gone, you can see I'm, I'm just melting you guys. No problemo. There's nothing wrong. Ugh. see the vats is broken a little bit sometimes it would just not shoot and you see like look at that pathetic little damage sometimes it does does ridiculous amount of damage and sometimes it's just so bad <clears throat> and it's all because I don't know something is definitely wrong with <clears throat> vats for gauze shotguns and even pistols as well see I mean while I'm uh, not doing bats, I'm better off with this gun, no bats. That's why for daily ops, I'll be using the Gus. It's just the best. And I think it's... Oh yeah, let's, let's kill one more target. That's gonna be a, a sentry bot. Just to show you how good damage uh, this gun does against the sentry bot. Which is pretty... Actually pretty tank tanky. With uh, my vampire wifey, when there was magic, it took me around four to five shots to take it down. Now, with this thing, is a little bit different. So, no magic, and I'm just still melting it, and I'm not even vatsing. I think this gun is better no vats than vats. <laughs> Alright, so here we are. Here's the robot. I come up close to that cockroach. And bam! He definitely no me gusta. And this is no adrenaline reaction yet. <laughs> and look, I'm taking all these hits and I still, I'm still not dead. I really want to get a gauze uh, shotgun with vampire effect. Something nice like uh, damage resistance for reloading would be great. It does ridiculous amount of damage when you're up close to this guy. Look at that. That's crazy. And now goals. Like, let's say for example, the double pain wifey is actually a two shot. I forgot all about her. Let's do a two shot wifey. And by the way, check this out. Bam. <laughs> two dead. If you group them up and shoot in the ground, they're all dead. Man, I'm, I'm telling you, Goss shotgun is, I think is the new, like, I mean, it's not new, but it's definitely freaking OP as hell. And let's test the two shot Goss, that one was bloody that we was playing with. Three shots, and the guy's dead. And as you can see, I'm not even dying either. <laughs> Like tanky as hell, <laughs> and I don't even have the the best armor, you know. If I get myself an yielding sentinel, it's gonna be crazy. Boom. And uh, and now, as as I said, uh, many of you will have qu a question like, okay, man, but stim packs, ammo, 
you're using ultraslide that's daily ops I'm gonna show you the daily ops thing right now let's go on daily ops what do we have today by the way <laughs> the easiest one super mutants and freezing touch man alright to be honest uh, in daily ops since I don't grind XP I get inside my power armor which has uh, uh, emergency protocols and stuff like and you know excavator one I don't die I just stand on the same spot and that's it so here's the ammo but usually I don't even look and I hate this map by the way this is like the worst map you can ever play on uh, but I was actually live streaming and uh, with this same two shot shotgun I was getting myself the uh, the elder rank uh, solo so actually I think I did that on my last live stream on Twitch so if you want to check that out feel free to do so that was played before the patch so it was Monday if I'm not mistaken so you can see the difference but the VATS was pretty good but as I said in whatever case the shotguns are definitely not weak come on man are you for real getting stuck like that stupid game oof I'm telling you sometimes this game is just crazy see this guy knows what he's doing what's up man sometimes I just jump here to do these things uh, to farm legendaries to farm script to farm caps and stuff like that Oh, you saw he's using a shotgun too. Not a lot of damage. Ah, cockroach. Get out of here. Was that a pistol? He was just using. Boom. <laughs> One shot, a hundred. You see, that's Vats. It's freaking broken. They really need to fix this Vats thing. And since I'm far away, you see the damage? It's really bad. With shotguns, you need to let them come close because this is a close combat. This is why I'm not even showing you how much. It damage it deals to scorched beasts that flying it because I just don't go to those guys I stick in the area for close combat this this shotguns are not made for scorched beasts fixers are but not shotguns although if that birdie lands adios it gonna die so basically uh, over here in daily ops I'll get my ammo back even more and uh, if I'm facing a queen, for instance, I mean, a Scorch Beast, now I'm just going to use my Gauss uh, minigun. As you can see, I'm just not dying with that little bit of health. Tanky. But, but when I get inside my power armor, man, I'm just unkillable. <laughs> I always just stand there and just dance. <laughs> and nothing. Adios. Oh, come on, man. They need to fix this fast thing. ASAP. It's cockroach. There he is. Whoa. Man, this guy don't like me, man. Adios. Five scrap only. Oh, heartbreaking. And once you're done here don't exit straight away go and pick up your loot so all of your ammo is right here 
I'm not gonna do that right now so you don't have to watch me do this all the time but now I really hope that I'm actually gonna get a rare reward cause for the past six days in a row I ain't getting none let's go and I love the new update that it shows the XP how much uh, legendary script you get so it's actually really really nice oh I like I actually don't have that recipe cool and as I said, power armor, bloodied, unkillable. <laughs> Alright, so in conclusion, what do I think about all this? It's good. I'm, I'm really happy that the magic uh, effects have been removed. And I hope there are no more uh, <laughs> undercover magic weapons, like new ones, because we all know when Bethesda makes an update, uh, <laughs> a couple of things might go wrong. Uh, the other thing is, I uh, would really love to see more balancing, because the harder the games get, the better they are, and uh, the better builds we can come up with. We'll need to sacrifice something, do something, you know, in order to achieve the final result. And essentially, the more balanced, the better the games are, and the more they are entertaining. Well, that's my point of view. Everybody has their own point of view. So if you, get, if you got something else to say, feel free to do so and uh, I highly respect all, any point of views so if you're happy not happy about the nerfs and so on and so forth uh, by the way did I say nerf uh, nerd rage was nerfed as well <laughs> well I think everybody knows that by now but essentially uh, yeah I would like to see more balancing I would like to see hacked weapons being removed I would like to see something being done with the legacy weapons as well you know they're definitely not balanced and other stuff so that is a good approach what they're doing in my personal opinion Bethesda go 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 you're doing the right thing just making the game better so yeah I'm totally all in for it and as you can see the shotgun builds are not dead even power armor bloody builds shotgun builds are OP by the way I'm gonna share my bloodied power armor uh, shotgun build on the next video which is going to be most probably tomorrow and uh, I'll show you how OP it is in daily ops and why I use it because when I go to daily ops I don't aim for the XP I aim for the ammo I aim for the script I aim for the caps I aim for the loop so all of that stuff not not the XP because XP you barely get their XP even with my uh, XP farming build although you can even get some decent XP with XP farming uh, build as well since all there are always constant waves are spawned at you so yeah well anyway all right Z clan and everybody else this is where I'm gonna be calling it the end for this video so I hope you enjoyed it and if you did you know the drill don't forget to hit that like comment down below please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube nobody see them I see them I read them and I delete them have that in mind so if you want your comments to be read don't swear simple as that if you're new and you subscribe, well, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine, so hi from Ukraine. If you want to play with us, show, share your photos, experience, builds, other information, or team up for different types of events, feel free to join our Discord. The link is down in the video description. If you find a hard time to getting uh, to get the user roles running to see the correct chats, there is a tutorial video created, and it's also in the video description. So once again, thanks all for watching. You all have a good morning, day, and night. Whatever you guys lock in at, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. From the